Now let's take a look at a few of the mouse tricks that have been added to version 3.4. Let's add a wall and when we click on this wall you'll notice that you now have green arrows at the end of the wall and in the middle of the wall. This allows you to hold down the left mouse button and change the length of the wall by simply moving the mouse or click in the center, hold down the left mouse button and you can change the angle of the wall. Very simple. So we'll add another wall, quickly change the angle and the length. Notice your crosshairs that help you align things. So we've aligned that wall with the end of wall one. And then we can add another wall, change the angle, and line that up very quickly. So we've created an odd shaped enclosure. And these options also work at the room level as well as the product level. So if we add a wall here at the room level, perhaps we want to make that a detached wall. And now you can see the move icon has appeared. So we click on that to move the wall into place. Click and hold the left mouse button in the center to change the angle of the wall. crosshairs help us align. And we've also added some mouse features for controlling the cabinet's placement and sizing. So for example if we place a cabinet here we can now see that that cabinet can be stretched in both directions on this end and one direction on that end. If we move the cabinet now you can see it can be stretched in both directions on either end as well as moved in either direction. So if we click here and hold the left mouse button we can stretch the cabinet. Now you can see it, it can only be moved to the right whereas if it's sitting off the corner we can move it in both directions. If we place another cabinet here. And don't forget about your tools here at the bottom of the screen as well. If I want to bump that cabinet into the farthest position to the right, I can just hit the bump button. Notice it bumps it to the adjacent corner, or I can bump it back to the left, or you can now take the mouse, slide, and stretch as well. Several different ways to move your cabinets around, and this works in elevation, as well as floor plan. You can see the indicators here. We can only stretch in this direction on this edge. We can only move in that direction. This edge can be stretched in either direction. If we move it, we can now move in either direction. We can stretch either end in either direction. So some smart icons there to help you in resizing and placing units on the wall.